This is a lift bag exercise for advanced scuba specialty course. The goal of the lift bag is to use compressed air to offset the weight of the object and allow you to move it or rescue it. Using a standard 7mm piece of rope, I've tied an overhand on a bite on one end, leaving the other end available to thread through both the weights and the existing knot. After cinching up the rope, tie another overhand on a bite to allow you to attach the lift bag to the rope. To tie the overhand on a bite, simply make a loop, cross the loop over the existing line, and tuck it through the hole and snug it up. Before unrolling the bag, it is best to attach it immediately to your knot. This particular bag has a brass clip for easy attaching. After the bag is securely attached, open the bag being sure it is not twisted or bound on the strapping. Once you're sure the bag is securely attached, you'll need to switch your primary to your octo. While doing so, make sure that you have bubbles coming out of your mouth in between the switch. You'll be using the purge function on your primary regulator to fill the bag. Open the mouth of the bag, insert the regulator, and use small short bursts of air to put tension on the rope filling the bag as needed. After each small burst of air, be sure to lift on the rope, checking it for its buoyancy level. Remember, as the bag ascends even just a little bit, the air inside, compressed, will expand, changing the buoyancy level of the lift. Here, the diver has created neutral buoyancy. You can see how the lift bag neither travels up or down. It does not pull the diver down or push him up and allows him to move the weights either forward or backward. To demonstrate further the neutral buoyancy of the item, it is exchanged to another diver. Notice again that neither diver's buoyancy is affected by the transfer of the weight. Once the item has reached its location, you can switch back to your primary regulator. Make sure you have bubbles coming out during the time that the regulator is out of your mouth. To lower the weight, the diver will use the relief valve pull and pull gently and slowly to release little bits of air each time. You want the weight to settle to the bottom gently and slowly. Because the relief valve is on one side of the bag, you may need to pull on the opposite side forcing the air towards the valve to relieve a little bit more to allow tension to be released on the rope.
Once sufficient tension is released on the rope, you can unclip, grab the top of the bag to relieve all of the air quickly. This is a rescue of an unconscious victim for the advanced specialty course. Approach the victim from the top, shaking them gently yet firmly to check for consciousness. Once you've determined the victim is unconscious and does need assistance, reach around with your right hand, under the chin of the victim, securing the regulator in their mouth with your fingers, all the while lifting the chin to open the airway. You can use your left hand to push them to get them vertical. If that does not work, use their buoyancy compensator device to inflate the BC enough to start to feel them rise. Once you've done this, you can start to lift them up off the bottom using your hand to keep the airway open. Gently kick, looking upward the whole while until the surface is reached. Once you reach the surface, inflate their BCD until it is full enough to float the victim. Once their BC is inflated, inflate your own. After you and the victim are buoyant, use your hand to remove the regulator from their mouth, all the while keeping a hand on their tank, doing a unconscious diver toe and calling for help. Thank you.